What's up YouTube? Jeff your Style OG. And today's video is a review of Nautica Voyage. Is it the best affordable fragrance on the market? We're gonna see. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern discussing men's lifestyle topics like style, grooming, and dating. Why don't you subscribe and ring the notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends like Steve Oosterhoff, salute. Now, generally speaking, Nautica Voyage is a very fresh, clean, aquatic scent. It was launched back in 2006, of course, by the House of Nautica, and it was designed by the perfumer Maurice Rossell. A few other fragrances he's done, he did David Beckham's Urban Ohm, he did Dunhill Fresh, and Eccentric. Now, as far as price rise, retail is supposed to go for 62 for the 3.4 and around 35 for the 1.7. You will never ever pay that price. The 3.4 you can easily get for around 20 bucks and the 1.7 between 10 and 15. Very, very affordable. Now, as far as presentation goes, not overwhelming presentation. A very generic setup. You have this plastic top, not very secure to be honest with you, so be careful with that. And the design of the bottle, quite generic. Nautica Voyage on the front with kind of a flat, squarish front. Presentation, nothing to write home about. So let's get into the notes. The top notes are green leaves and apple. Your mid notes are mimosa and lotus. And your base notes are amber, musk, oak moss, and cedar. Now when you first spray this on, the impression you're gonna get is a very sea scent smell. It actually smells like what you would think nautica should smell like. It reminds you of a sea breeze, what you would smell when you're out sailing, with a slight scent of the apple, but very slight to me. You're mainly gonna get that sea scent with a little bit of a green effect to it, I would say. Now, as it dries down, I do get a little bit of the musk coming in as it dries down, and I would say, a lot of a floral scent, but not an overwhelmingly floral scent. It's not feminine, but I do detect a little bit of that lotus. Now, as it goes throughout the day, to me, the dominant scent is still that sea breeze smell with a hint of the floral smell. So that's what you're gonna get as it lasts throughout the day. Now, overall, to me, this is a beautiful, great, light, fresh, aquatic scent. I think it smells great and it's very appropriate for the summertime. Now, the only drawback of the scent, you can detect a little bit of a synthetic smell. Very, very hard to notice and probably not even worth mentioning. Other than that, this smells great. Now, as far as projection, I think it has average to moderate projection. And I think you can get away with a little bit more than your average amount of sprays. I'm a one to two spray guy with Nautica Voyage. I think you can go three to five. Now, as far as longevity, I give this high marks on longevity, especially in the aquatic category. Generally speaking, I find longevity to be lacking in most scents in this category. But for Nautica Voyage, I get easily eight to 10 hours, which I think is fantastic for this type of scent. Now, as far as compliments go, this gets a lot of compliments. This is a very highly complimented cologne. So if you're looking for one that's not offensive, but does draw a lot of positive feedback, Nautica Voyage definitely works. Now, when should you wear Nautica Voyage? To me, this is mostly a summer scent. I don't find it to be year round. You could because it's so light, but I think the warm months really bring this out. So I would push you towards this being a top notch summer scent. Now, where and what occasions to wear it? I find it to be an everyday casual scent that you could wear for the office, for school. I don't think it's much of a standout powerhouse that I would wear it at night or on a date, but just about any of other circumstances, this fits the bill. Who should wear it? I think this is an all age versatile scent, but if I had to hedge, I would say more toward a younger crowd. This is a scent I would introduce to someone who's just starting out, whether they're young or old. So like I said, I think it's good for all ages, but I would probably lean more towards a younger guy or a novice fragrance guy. Now, as far as overall rating goes, I give Nautica Voyage a 9.5. 10 for longevity, 10 for compliments, 10 for versatility. 
10 for value. My only drawback, I think it's too good of a value. Hear me out. The problem is when you price a quality item this low, it comes across as cheap and people perceive the value as cheap. So if I could, I would go back in time and have them raise the price. Other than that, to me, hands down, this is the best cheap fragrance on the market. Okay, so there you have it. The Style OG review for Nautica Voyage. I've got a link in the description if you want to grab a bottle. And do me a favor, let me know in the comment section your thoughts on this fragrance. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. And make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll see you tomorrow.